Do you need to go to university? Or is all the information that you can get on google.com enough or even on AI? Well, that's what we're gonna tackle today. Here we go. I have been teaching at the university level for over 20 years, so it may seem weird for me to talk about this, or maybe I am the most ideal person to talk about this. But over time, we have noticed many of the greats out there have never even finished their college degree. We know Bill Gates, we all know Steve Jobs, we all know Oprah, we all know Ralph Lauren, none of them got an actual degree. But now the day and age has even changed where we have AI, we have everything on the internet. We are in the information age. Do we really need to go to university? Well, I created this video and got amazing engagement across social media. And so I just wanted to kind of expand on this thought because I find it very fascinating to talk about. This was just me having coffee one day and sharing my thoughts, but let's talk about it. Like what is the real value of an actual piece of paper from a university? Does it translate the way that it used to? I think we can all agree that it doesn't, but what does it translate to it? Is it really beneficial for all of the money you may be pouring in depending on where you're going to university? So check out this video and then we'll jump into the topic. Okay, morning coffee thoughts for anybody who's 18 and older. Okay, number one, throw out the question, what am I going to do with my life? And just be haunted by that every day and every night. Throw it out. Nobody knows. Whether you're 40, 50, 60, nobody knows. Throw it out. You basically have two choices. You can go and get educated, whether that's university, polytechnic, whatever, or you can just dive in. If you go to uni, it'll be three or four years and you'll walk out and you'll have some confidence and some skills under your belt, but you would have spent a lot of money. But if you decide to just dive in instead into something that you're curious about and try something and you fail this and you'll fail like 10 times before you actually succeed, but you'll end up probably making a little bit of money along the way and the things that you will learn are invaluable and will help you actually make money in the future, actually know how to make money in the future. You don't really get that at university. You're just getting a skill there. You're not getting actual experience. Either way, it'll take about the same amount of time to actually like upscale on your actual skills. Either way, same amount of time, your choice. So I got a lot of comments to this video about like, hey, I agree, I've never used my college degree or I've used a little bit of both or now that I've done both, I actually think getting the experience is better. So I think it's a great time with the rise of AI to really be jumping into this topic and really thinking about it. So let me just tell you a little bit about my experience. So as a professor, obviously I believe in higher education. I don't believe that it has to be in the format that it's been for the last, you know, X amount of years, right? I think that education is for life and that you will continue to upscale and continue to learn. And I think that what you learn in your 20s is not necessarily what you need to do in your 30s or your 40s or your 60s, okay? So we're always changing, we're always improving, ideally. <laughs> and that's what's so great about education. So I love the idea of being on a university campus as a freshman and all just being surrounded by thousands of kids your age. And it's a very unique experience in life. You don't get that experience another time. If you go back to school later on in life and maybe you never did that, it's not the same experience as when you're in your 20s and you're on campus and it's it's a unique experience. So with that being said, that's a great experience. If you want to go just for that experience, I would definitely, definitely go and highly recommend it and have recommended it to all of my children. But if that doesn't work for you, or that's not maybe your personality, or maybe you want to save some money, then that's fine. And you can go to school later, or you can just dive in. I just think that we need to start valuing the idea that you could just jump into what you love doing and just go for it because so much of the information is already out there and sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's better than what you're getting at the university because it's really up to date. And you know, people are actually in the trenches and doing it and you're either learning from them um, or you're just diving and doing it yourself and learning from experience is so much more valuable. Now, you are going to fail. When you jump into something new and you jump into a new business, you're 99% of the time you're gonna fail at some point. You're gonna lose a lot of money. But that's not any different than you going to college and spending a lot of money, okay? But the lessons that you learn running that business are second to none. I would say in my personal experience as a professor, as, a, as I have a master's degree, um, as somebody who has run multiple different businesses and across all different industries from construction to skincare to Amazon business to a content creator, digital marketer, so many things. Okay. I see the value in all of it. 
and hands down nothing beats <coughs> actual real world <laughs> experience <laughs> like learning how to make money is more than just the skill to do it right so you have to learn you have to learn that and that's really gained from experience it has never been a better time to start an online business in the history of the world because there is no cost to it. There are so many businesses and skills that you can learn that are literally no cost, minimal cost. I mean, just think about your grandparents. Like they used to have to like, if they want to start a business, had to have a brick and mortar store and they couldn't do the side business on the side. You know, it was, you have unlimited opportunities. I think that it's dumb to not take advantage of this opportunity. So if you're at university and you're doing these, now obviously certain skills you have to go to university for, doctors, lawyers, that sort of thing, I'm not talking about that. I am just saying that if you're at university, if you're at a job, you can learn a skill on the side and start doing that job until it can replace your full-time job if you want it to. Or you could just keep it on the side. And it could just be your vacation money or uh, money for your kid's college or whatever you want it to be. But like to not take advantage of this opportunity in 2023 is to your disadvantage. So there, and you're wondering, so like what kind of jobs can you do? There's so many things and I have so many opinions about these jobs. And obviously I think YouTube is a great option. You could become a YouTuber and you don't have to be a huge YouTuber to make a lot of money. You do if your only income is from the ads, but if you have a business behind it, you know, you don't need that many views. So in keeping with the topic of this video, I have created a YouTube video that's two and a half minutes long with AI online. It took me exactly three minutes and 12 seconds to create this video and you could have a faceless YouTube channel. But this video also overviews 10 different skills that you can gain by just learning it on Google, learning it on your own instead of going to university. Here we go. Did you know you can make money from certain skills without having to step foot in a university? Harness the power of the internet, learn new skills online, and turn them into lucrative opportunities. No traditional university courses, just pure skill building. Let's delve into the top 10 skills you can learn online to make money. First up, coding. It's the of making computers perform tasks. You can learn it online and make money freelancing or starting your own venture. Coding is a skill that's in high demand and can offer excellent pay. And here's a you can use AI to automate repetitive coding tasks, making your work more efficient and productive. Next, we delve into the world of graphic design. It's all about fabricating visuals that speak volumes, and the beauty of it is that you can acquire this skill online. AI can step in to elevate your designs, assisting you by suggesting color palettes, fonts, and layouts that will make your work stand. As a freelance designer, the potential for earning is significant. Consider graphic design as a precious skill, offering unlimited creative possibilities. Third, digital marketing. It's the driving force behind online businesses, enhancing visibility and profits. Digital marketing is a skill that can open doors to numerous opportunities. An added dimension of digital marketing is the role of AI. AI can analyze data and provide insights to improve your digital marketing strategies, thereby augmenting its effectiveness. Fourth, content creation. In the digital era, content reigns supreme. Monetize this skill through blogging, vlogging, or social media. Content is king, and knowing how to create it can be quite lucrative. Additionally, AI can help you create engaging content by suggesting topics based on trending keywords. Fifth, search engine optimization, or SEO. It's the magic behind online visibility, making websites shine in search results. Mastering SEO can significantly increase your earning potential. Furthermore, AI can assist you in optimizing your website for search engines by suggesting valuable improvements. Six, language translation. As our world grows more connected, translators thrive. With the help of AI, you can translate languages accurately and quickly, reducing errors and increasing efficiency. Freelancing in this realm can provide substantial earnings. Thus, language translation can be a rewarding and flexible career choice. Seventh, social media management. Today's business is on social media. Mastering its management can unlock lucrative AI can help you manage multiple social media accounts efficiently, thus streamlining the process. Social media management is an in-demand skill that when coupled with AI can pay well. Eighth, online tutoring. 
the surge in online education avenues for you to become an online tutor. Online tutoring can be a fulfilling and profitable venture. With assistance from AI, you can personalize your tutoring sessions catering to each student's unique learning style. This not only enhances the learning experience, but also makes it more effective. Ninth, becoming a voiceover artist. Entertainment and marketing crave unique voices. With captivating tones, you could earn handsomely. Voiceover work can be a fun and profitable skill to acquire. And here's an interesting tidbit. AI can help you find voiceover gigs that match your voice profile. Finally, we come to affiliate marketing. This involves promoting others' products and earning a commission on sales. Affiliate marketing has potential to be a source of passive income, if done correctly. And here's a game changer. AI can help you find profitable affiliate marketing opportunities, making it even more efficient and lucrative. So there you have it. We've explored 10 powerful skills from coding to affiliate marketing, all of which you can master online. These skills hold immense potential for income generation without the need for a university degree. Remember, the world is moving fast and so can you. Choose a skill, learn it, and start making money today. So those are some great businesses that you could start today that's not going to cost you very much or just upskill and learn something new because it's even fun even if you don't use it and make money off of it. <clears throat> but then how do we decide? How do we really decide if we should even bother with university? Well, I think that question comes down to self-awareness. I think you need to be really honest with yourself if you need a lot of structure in your life or if you're very internally motivated and can get up every day and do things and make things happen. Just having some self-awareness around these issues will help you determine your best way to learn and your best way to improve your skills. Comment below, let me know if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. There is going to be more content like this and please reach out to me. I love helping people start new businesses, move on with their career, mentor them a little bit. I'm here to help. I'll see you next week.